Contemporary Heritage is an ambitious new programme of site-responsive works at historic venues across Pennine, Lancashire. Mid-Pennine Arts have commissioned Elise Nirian, the artist and composer, to create a piece of sound that responds to the rich histories that lay deep within the castle keep walls at Clitheroe Castle. A beautiful building that has dominated the Clitheroe skyline for over 800 years. Alice will reanimate this magnificent space through her sound installation and encourage us to experience the castle keep in a new and interesting way. The title of the programme is Contemporary Heritage, A New Way of Seeing. And I think a new way of seeing really sums it up. It's a new way of experiencing a place. Each venue has its own unique story and history and we're working with artists who are particularly good at drawing out these stories and presenting them to the audience in a different way. When I came to see this first, I was struck by the potential for sound in here. It's a stunning space. I've never created a piece of music for anything like this before. So what I'm creating is a new piece of music which will include the voices of 12 farmers, humming material that's important to them because I want to use it in a way within this piece that reflects an event that happened in the past, the Pendle Witch Trial. In the Pendle Witch Trial, 10 people were executed on Lancaster Moor for the crime of witchcraft. 12 were accused, 10 women and two men. And I think the space that we're in here in the keep is possibly not unlike the kind of space they were kept in. It's similar in size. And I'm envisaging those last days and those last hours where the accused may have hummed to each other or hummed to themselves as a source of comfort. The humming sounds will give us that resonance of emotion, that grounding human experience in this space, which is crucial. through Sing Up as um, something to present to children, but in actual fact have only sung it to my grandma in hospital as she died. So uh, it feels like a song that, that does connect with people and it was something that I was able to sing when I didn't know what to say. So That's the, that's the nub of this whole thing. You've got it in one. If I'm imagining witches, or so-called yeah. witches, um, in those last months in a cell, in those last minutes, yeah. um, before uh, being hung in a hugely public way. Well, can you imagine the heart rate? Can you yeah. imagine the terror? They'd be comforting themselves. Comforting themselves, yeah. that's the thing. Mm -hmm. times, um, early childhood, early marriage, grandchildren. Um, it's a very moving piece to me personally. It's me upset. And from what people have shared so far today, one closest to uh, my thinking, really. And watching you perform it had another layer again there, I have to say. Because people have been approaching the performances in different ways, you know. I'm not sure that it comes from anywhere. I held on 
to some of the things you said. You said something about witches and their lives are just about to end. There's a certain amount of freedom in it. And if I was to be so brave as to say it's heavenly. When I say heavenly, I don't mean not of this world. I mean beautifully of this world. with a musician directly um, on the instrument that you've written for, that you see what really works and what could be changed, what needs a little bit of tampering with to make uh, the ideal sound world that you're looking for. Twelve accused and the role that music may have played for them. You wouldn't class this as traditional harp music and that's one of the reasons why I like it so much. Harps are renowned for big arpeggios and sweeping up and down. And you just think of lots of very French music, it's all very pretty. And I think to hear the harp sound not pretty is a more interesting sound world. It's something that people aren't used to. It's a mixture of quite rhythmical music. Um, melodic music, music with repetitive cells, um, some music that I think could work w well as a bass sound um, to, to put other sounds um, on top of. Um, and some of it I think will work quite well as providing a soundscape within the keep. But I'm interested in the harp as a sound box um, and I'm interested in all the possibilities of sound that can be emitted through it. Why I write music and why I work uh, particularly with certain instruments because I want to see what all the possibility of sound, it's not just music, it's also the sound world. Mm -hmm. 